Oh my god, maybe I wasn't. You have to press record. You didn't record. Sorry. Alright guys, welcome back. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone. Thank you for sticking around. It's been a few weeks since my last video. There was a time when I didn't have a lot of updates to share. But however, October has been a more turbulent month and which is why I feel the need to like go back and actually revisit and share with you some updates um, from, from October. And because this is gonna be a little bit longer, I'm gonna split this video into multiple parts. And I think it's gonna be like two or three parts. I have a lot of footage because uh, yeah, I, I just recently went to uh, Bangkok and just came back yesterday. So today is a good day to uh, recap the experience again, and which is why it's gonna be uh, a little bit longer of a, of a video. So yeah, stay tuned and let's get started. So the biggest change actually has been that Andrea went back to the States to visit family. So it's just me at the moment, which is why I also took the opportunity to rearrange the apartment a little bit. Normally I would be sitting in this corner, my table was in this corner, and now I actually have the table set up to um, look outside uh, from the balcony, have a nice view. Yeah, so in recent weeks, my motivation of doing videos, lots of videos, wasn't really high because, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, Andrew went back to the States, so we spent a lot of time together, did all the things we wanted to do in the last few weeks, and I didn't always want to take the camera out and uh, so on. But one of the highlights uh, was actually us spending a bit more time in Hoi An again, uh, do some last shopping for, for her, for um, family, and uh, just enjoying life, have some nice food, so luckily the weather in October was actually still good at the time. Currently there's a lot of rain going on, so the rainy season has really arrived. But um, luckily for us there were a few weekends left that was actually pretty great. And so we went to Hoi An very spontaneously. Hoi An is always such a good spot to, to visit over the weekend because it's such a beautiful little, little area. Hoi An has so many shops, like from leather shops to uh, little souvenir shops, art shops, and you can really get an, anything there. Even even like branded bags um, that may cost 10, 20 times the price in, in Western countries, and uh, you just get it there. Hoi An is actually a very touristy place, but uh, it is also very beautiful at the same time, and that's the reason why that it's so visited. Although Hoi An is very touristy, it's always good going back for, um, you know, just for fun, getting out of Da Nang, and it's not so far from here, it's like 30 minutes by motorbike. So one of our favorite dinner places in Hoi An is called Morning Glory Signature. And because we are always eating very early, we actually managed to get um, a corner spot uh, on the terrace, which has really the best view. Yes, yeah. corner spot. <laughs> Huh? That is the prime spot. Come on. Boom! Welcome back, guys. Today we made a spontaneous trip to Hoi An. It ended us last week, so we decided to come out here and have dinner and do some shopping. I actually don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I haven't done a video in such a long time that I'm uh, getting a little bit rusty. What is this? Get a little <coughs> bit of guacamole here, homemade, and some chips. So we're gonna take a look at the menu now. Last time we came here was actually pretty, pretty delicious. It is more pricey than uh, usual than all the other places, but the food quality is pretty good. And the view, of course. So the benefit of eating early is really you get the whole place for yourself. We've got a beautiful view here. 
on the main part of Hoyan, old city. So today we're gonna go for the caramelized pork belly. What I also really like about this place is that from the outside it looks actually quite small but once you get inside it goes so deep and it, it just opens up uh, inside and I really like the design of you know old uh, French colon colonialism style and um, it's actually really beautiful. So after Andrew left I also had to travel. I went to Bangkok for a week and it was actually fortunate timing because otherwise I would have been just stuck at home by myself and so it was like the transition time was actually very fortunate that I get out of the bubble and explore um, Bangkok for a little bit and just change the environment instead of just sitting at home and you know uh, being sad that um, uh, Andrea left. But I will tell you more about my trip in the next video. See you there.